Hello and welcome to another quick tip tutorial. In this episode, we're going to look at a quick and dirty way to replace the sky in your videos. So let's dive in. This isn't the most precise way of replacing the sky in your videos, but when there isn't much movement in your footage, this technique works perfectly fine. And I'm all for doing things the easy way, if at all possible. It goes without saying that what we're going to need to do this is a photograph of a sky, either a copyright free version you've downloaded from the internet or a crop of one of your own images. But you need to import that into the project and then drag it onto the timeline above your clip. Then by clicking on the position tab, you can drag and drop the sky where you want it and then scale it up a little bit to allow for any sideways movement that's going to take place in your clip. If you don't scale it up enough at this point, it doesn't matter. When you play through your footage, you'll see black bars appearing at the side and you can go back and adjust the scaling at that point. The next thing to do is to create an opacity mask for the sky. A little tip for this is to change the preview size of your window down to something like 25% so that you can make the mask bigger than it needs to be. And then when we feather the mask, you're not going to see the feathering at the top and sides coming into the image because we only want the feathering to be affecting the bottom of the sky image. Once you've done that, change your preview size back to fit so that you can see what you're doing. And then we need to feather the mask so that the bottom of your sky image doesn't leave an abrupt line. What you'll need to do is play around with the amount of feather and moving the mask up and down so that the feathering starts at different points and ends at different points to get the look that you desire. Sometimes you might want to fade it in all the way from the top. Sometimes you'll only need to or want to feather the very bottom of the, the image. The next stage in the workflow is to animate the sky to match the movement of your footage. So you'll need to click on the stopwatch icons for the position, scale and mask path. This will set keyframes at the point in time you are now. And then you'll need to move the slider to where the mask is making a big movement away. and then adjust the position to set more keyframes. It's then a matter of scrolling back and forwards through the footage to find a point in between your keyframes you've set where it moves the most away and then set another keyframe at that point. And by doing that, you're smoothing the motion out and making the sky track the ground so it looks realistic. In this clip, the motion is undulating, so I have to set about 10 keyframes. If your motion is just one smooth pan, you can probably get away with setting one key set of keyframes at the start, one set of keyframes at the end, and then a set maybe in the middle, and that will probably track it perfectly. But as I say, the trick is, set two keyframes, find the point in the middle where it moves the most away, adjust that point, and then go in between two of those keyframes to find the biggest movement, keyframe that out, and so on. And then you'll very quickly have all the motion smoothed out. The next stage in the workflow is to play around with the opacity of the sky layer and the blending mode to get a look that's natural um, and to your taste. Sometimes normal blend mode is best, sometimes screen, sometimes lighten. It'll all depend on the footage that you've got underneath and the image that you're applying on top. So trial and error is the key there. But once you've got that completed, what you'll need to do is color grade either the ground or the sky so that they match each other um, but that's a topic 
colour grading, that's for another tutorial. So now you know a quick and easy way to replace the sky in your video footage. If you found this useful, then consider subscribing to the channel so that you don't miss out on future releases. Hit the thumbs up so that YouTube can recommend this to other people. And feel free to share this video on other groups that you're in or your own Facebook page. So thank you for watching and see you next time.